Rob Davidson caught up with one of them in Niagara Falls. I Am Elvis contains over 60 Elvis impersonators, including Elvez, the Mexican Elvis, a little Elvis, and a lady Elvis. Elvis is from Nut Tree, California, all the way to Middlesex, England. Over the years, Niagara Falls, Ontario has attracted all sorts of people and businesses, and in the process become the uh, capital of crass. A perfect place, then, for an Elvis impersonator to ply his trade. Elvis Little is one of two Canadian entries. I started doing Elvis at the age of six. And uh, not like playing professionally or nothing, you know, just records. And, and then at the age of uh, 14, I did my first live uh, appearance. When you're on stage, how do you feel? Yeah, I feel good. You know, I, I don't try to be Elvis. I just do his music. I try and keep his memory alive. I like salad, I like to hotel honey, I love you. You wear these jumpsuits. I mean, wouldn't it make more sense to maybe play Elvis when he was younger and then you'd sort of differentiate yourself from the other Elvis impersonators? I, I don't want to be separated. Pat, what was it about Elvis that you liked so much? What was it that appealed to you? Well, it was charisma. Um... The women? <laughs> no, it's just and, uh, no, it's charisma, the way he handled an audience, his voice, the way he sang. And that's what took me to him. Now, just because he's an Elvis impersonator doesn't mean he has no problems. Elvis Little complains that he's outgrowing his costumes. People in his hometown have no appreciation for his art. And perhaps the deepest cut of all, an epiphanal realization has set in that he exists on the fringe of show business. Oh, no, 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 no. Bob Davidson.